I'm Emily and I'm from Floriography and Floricita Flowers and I'm so excited to bring to you today how we make a beautiful tablescape for Mother's Day or just a spring celebration. So what we're going to do is kind of talk you through the different layers of a table, the things that we think make everything special, how we came to these decisions and what makes for like a really interesting and memorable lunch, dinner, brunch, something for your mama because she's the best. Um, so what we've done here is I just found this sort of like lacy tablecloth. I put it perpendicular to the way that the table runs. I think some sort of juxtaposition of like the length of the table with the crossways grain of the fabric makes for like a really much more interesting and casual and approachable table setting. Um, we've got some chargers here. Um, chargers are the thing that sort of like sets your place. It's otherwise known as a, a placemat. You can use all sorts of things. I love these that are made out of water hyacinth. Um, other things that you can use, I found these fans, which are really cute. You can put one in each place setting. The other thing that you can do is just take paper. You can shop your house and find all sorts of like flat objects that are great at taking up space for each individual place setting. So you can cut the shape of a fan or maybe a palm leaf or a heart or any kind of shape of flower perhaps and put that at each place setting. Sometimes if it's paper, you can write somebody's name and then it's a place card and a charger, which is really neat. Then I think the next layer, and I love these, and we wanna say thank you to our partners at Rest Vintage Rentals. They've got these mismatched china plates. And I love this because it's just so relaxed and casual. Nothing has to match. It doesn't have to like, you know, I'll be perfect. It's your mom. She's going to love it no matter what. Just just do something. So um, we like to start with just a dinner plate. And they're all different, which I think is just adds a lot of character, makes it feel kind of old world, classic. So we've got the bigger dinner plate. And then on top of that, we're going to add a salad plate. So we're going to make sure they just don't match. And I think the more things don't match, the more it feels like it's supposed to be like that. If that makes sense? Try not to think about it too much. Just letting things be. And then we've got some different napkin options. So what I did is I, I like this sort of casual knot. You can make this in a few ways. So here's a napkin. I like to, you can open it up fold it into a triangle. I like to kind of roll it up. It's like long bandana. And then you literally just tie it in a knot. I also love these in the spirit of being mismatched and eclectic. We've got these varieties of just sort of collected goblets. We're gonna put those on the right hand side of each charger. Depending on what you're serving, you can add a champagne flute, you can buy a highball glass, maybe you're having a tea party. I think a tea set would be really precious for this setting. Um, and now let's talk about what's gonna go on the center and our centerpiece. I think a simple potted plant makes a really, really beautiful centerpiece. So you can get that from your local nursery and right now I think more than ever, support your local nursery. Um, other things we've got include these bud vases, which we made, it's, and it's got a super eclectic mix of flowers. Most of these are coming from our friends at Mini Falls Flower Farm. We've got some tulips. Look at these gorgeous ranunculus, some wild dill, or Queen Anne's lace, and some sweet peas. And there's there's no like fine art to this. It's just cutting flowers at different heights and levels and placing them in a bud vase so that there's no debris or leaves in there. And I like to just make a little collection. So maybe we'll kind of put that one like that. Nothing has to be perfectly spaced or matchy-matchy. 
We're just gonna let it be easy and sort of mismatch, just like the china. And then we have these taper candles, which I love this sort of bringing in the purple. There's some purple tones in the china and in the flowers. Another fun tip, if you're at home and you've got taper candles, but they're kind of wobbling and they're not straight, you can just add some masking tape on the base of it and it's gonna be straight. That's it, it's simple, it's easy, it's seasonal. Your mom's gonna love it. Um, and it's just things from, from your house. Do the best you can, it doesn't have to match. It just has to be made with love. Another way to use this really beautiful tablescape is just centering a beautiful, large centerpiece here. And I know this, this has got a lot more color than some of the other sort of more muted colors that we've got going with the, the candles and whatnot, but we can get away with sort of a larger spectrum of color because we have the mismatched china here. And so there's all sorts of different details and layers of color here that tie into the seasonal blooms that we've got here, which are all from our gardens here in Albuquerque and in Northern New Mexico. We're so thrilled to have such bounty this time of year and we hope that you get to share this with your loved ones and especially your mom.